So, uh, what we're going to do here is fill up the rear windshield wiper fluid on my 98 Escort. I'm kind of waiting for paint to dry, so I'm kind of bored right now. One second. Okay, take number two. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Let's just try it like this. Yay, that kind of worked. Well, I have to s hope that uh, dries up properly. I just used uh, NASCAR Advantaged All Season Washer Fluid. Also has wet tech in it. Available at Canadian Tire. We bought four cans for $15. There you go, all done. Okay, so here we are in the back again. There's the left one. Here's the right one. Looks quite good, uh, to be honest. And I forgot to put the tape on there. So there's gonna be a gray spot where this one's gonna have a shiny spot, but oh well. Anyways, I'm gonna throw that one, which is the, uh, ro uh, the rust killer on the back of this one. Let me flip it over. There. And we're gonna throw some rocker guard or gravel guard as this one is. Um on the back of this one. Just like that. So hopefully it looks good. Here goes nothing. Okay, there's one. Here goes nothing as as well. Stupid mosquitoes. This stuff really goes on thin. As you see, I, I like to use the handle called Can Gun. Very nice handle. Works pretty sim simply. The trigger just moves that uh, little uh, prong, I guess you call it, and just squeezes it down on the on the uh, spray. Pretty good uh, little idea for I think it was two or three dollars it was worth it so there's the two paints there is the two items that I painted and hopefully they turn out well it's just gonna be late when they get finished you notice how liquidy this one is it just sloshes all over the place and it's been it's it's always like that too Okay, so this is how it turned out. This one turned out pretty good. As well as that one. So, that one's done now. And after a uh, final, what do you call it, uh, cure of the paint, it can be put on. Just gotta throw the black, uh, the rocking guard on this one. And then we'll be done. So I'm gonna go throw this one on. Okay, here goes nothing.
There you go. Done. Simple as that. Yeah. Now it's done. After that one, it's done. Then I'll do the back. And then I have that one sitting over there. Drawing in front of the half industrial heater. I call it half because it says it's an industrial heater, but it's only kind of an industrial heater. So, as long as it works. So now we're going to put this beast on the car. This is the right one, although you can't tell. But it goes right there. Again, you can't see it. Oh, there it goes. It's going to go there. So, let me get it. Okay. Here we go. We're going to take this tape off. Should be shiny. Peeling off properly. Let me get that off. So here we are. Got it all taken off. There was the tape. So I'm gonna put this on the car. Put on. There you go. I know it doesn't look perfect right here, but it'll do. Not too bad at all. In fact, uh, while I was uh, waiting for the paint to dry, I worked on this. I worked on the bolts and the bottom of this one just to get it a little bit nicer. So I'm done with this. Now I'm going to put it on. Well, that worked pretty good. That's what it looks like, and uh, let's see how it closes. Not that it should make any difference, but. Pretty good.
Here is Hardy Mark. So, I mean, they're going to be marked up pretty quickly, but well, I mean, this one isn't because I just I cleaned it, but that's the end.